Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Broken Sword 4, The Angel of Death. We managed to successfully get into Anna Maria's hotel room, which has been ransacked, it's got to be said. And now we've just got to find out a way to get her in from, I think she's on the fire escape, she said. So, we're just going to have a little look around first. She can just wait out there a bit longer. Oh, is that a safe? Looks like it might be a safe. Oh no, <coughs> the safe's been cleaned. They've taken Anna Maria's manuscript. Oh, good. <clears throat> the only reason that we were here was for the manuscript, so that's brilliant news. Um, is, is this where she was? I can see down under the street from here. I don't know. Let's try opening this window up. shut by layers of ancient paint. No matter. The window to the alley isn't on this side of the room anyway. Oh, okay. So that's not the window that we want, actually. Can we... I, I, can't, I think I would feel safer if we, uh, we were able to... Oh, what's this? If we're able to shut the door, stop Elvis from coming back. What is this? Hmm. It's a pen with the logo of a black cat embossed on it. Okay. A pen with a logo of a black cat. I'm sure that's going to be relevant later on in the game. Um, this is uh, a bit of an awkward camera angle, isn't it? Anything in the wardrobe? Unbelievably, no. Um, and nothing here either, I don't think. Yeah, it looked like we'd be able to search some of these clothes or something, but I guess not. What's in the bathroom? A very grimy looking toilet. There's nothing in the cupboards. Ooh, hang on, what's this? Also apparently nothing. Although that is a huge air conditioning unit, and it's shaking around. Oh, we can... The extractor fan is set into the window that looks out onto the alley. Oh. The fan blades are caked in grease. Ugh. The blades are all over the place. The cover's broken. The whole thing is an accident just waiting to happen. Okay. On or off, I am not going to stick my hands in there. Fine, we're not sticking it's our hands in. It's a mass extraction. <laughs> so do we... Somehow I need to move it to let Anna Maria in. I was literally just about to ask that. So we're going to have to get this thing out of the way. Um, I, I mean, I don't know what we would... I mean, we could maybe use our trusty golf club again. It's come in pretty handy so far, hasn't it? Uh, George, can you move? Thank you. On or off, I'm not going to stick conductive metals in that thing. Okay. No metals in there. The string? Whoa, that was close. Trying to tie a piece of string onto a moving fan is one of the most stupid things I have ever tried to ah, do. Ah, okay. So, string potentially, but we've got to turn this thing off. Uh, what's this? Is this the It's the, the control switch for the extractor fan. Okay, can we turn it's that off? It's rusted and covered in grease. Oh, it's covered it looks in... Looks like it hasn't been touched in years. It's covered in grease. We can try it, but I don't think it's gonna... Oh, the no! The shudders when it slows down. It's working. I bet this room's got the highest mortality rate in the city. Alright, so can we put the string on it now? Oh, where's the string gone? Uh... Did, did, hang on, what is that the string? Oh yeah, it is. <clears throat> Just went down there for some reason. Not really sure what happened there. So can we put the string on it now that it's off? Oh yeah, we can. Okay. So the string's on it. The string's still dangling from the grill. Can Do we... I really want to take the string? No, we don't. We don't want to take the string. Can we attach anything to the string? I don't think so. Uh, got the key card. I mean, let's just try this to see. On or off, no. I'm not going to stick conductive metals in that thing. Okay, so I, I don't know if we can turn it back on now. Let's see what happens to the string. Oh, oh, god, it's shredded. Okay, we did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Well, that Anna worked. Maria, over here. We almost got zapped, but it worked. And here she is. She almost fell over there. <laughs> Not sure what that was about. You've been drinking out there. George, what took you so long? I was having so much fun, I just lost track of time. Next time, you get the fire escape. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe next time I'll charge double. Now, how do we get out of here? The alley's full of bad guys. 
And there's some even badder guys out there. Yep. So what about the safe? Oh Raided. My God. What's happened here? The whole place has been turned over. And the manuscript, it's gone. Gone. Oh, I'm sorry, Anna Maria. But we'll figure out what to do, I promise. Oh, George. <coughs> it just means so much to me. I know, I know. My family, we're not rich. You see, the treasure, I think I've built it up so much. Now look. You tell me everything you can remember about the manuscript, and maybe I can help. Okay, I'll try. The manuscript. Well, it's on old parchment. And, and there's writing, Latin writing. Uh-huh. So it's old, with Latin writing on it. Well, that sure narrows it down. <laughs> if you're going to be like that, I'm not going to tell you. Well, give me a break, will you? What else was on it? There must have been something. Pictures. Beautiful pictures. Right. Can you remember any? One. There's one. Oh, it's so beautiful, George. A crusader on horseback, fighting a dragon, everything red and gold. Hmm. Still not a lot to go on. You don't believe me, do you? You think <clears throat> I'm just making it up? Of course I believe you. I just don't think I can help you till we find the manuscript. Maybe the guys who took it left clues. Yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> All we have to do is find them. Easy. Hey. That's my life. <laughs> well, you better get used to sharing. That's better. Just don't worry, Anna Maria. I am going to get your manuscript back. I promise. There's something... I might be wrong. There's something about her that just doesn't quite seem trustworthy. I, I don't know what it is, but I, I, I don't know. There's something a bit off, like she's not telling us something. What do you make of this pen? I've never seen it before. See the logo? A black cat. What do you think it means? No idea. It beats me. Pet shop? <laughs> Don't think it's going to be a pet shop, George, but you never know. Right, um, perhaps they left something else that we weren't able to pick up before, or maybe it was literally just the pen that we needed. I mean, I'm not seeing much else. We can look in the safe totally again. empty, apart from the dust. Okay, maybe someone downstairs will know about the pen, or maybe that Elvis guy left something out here. Oh, hang on. What was that? Was there something on the desk there? Yeah, what's this? We couldn't interact with this before. Hmm. A cigar stub. Cuban. Cuban cigar. Can we take that? The ashtray. The ashtray. The ashtray. Alright, so... Someone smoked a Cuban cigar, and we've got this pen. Is that potentially it? I, th I think it... The door's locked. I, I mean, I didn't try to open the door, but okay. The door's locked. There was... Wasn't there like a... Oh no, that was on the door down here, right? There's a number pad on the door. I wonder if we have to get in here somehow. The number of combinations must be immense. There's no point in guessing. Okay, there's no point How in guessing. How can I get the code for the door? I don't know, honestly. Maybe we can get it from the guy down here. So, let's head down. Maybe we can show the pen to the guy on reception or to the um, the dealer guy. Maybe the dealer guy will know about it. Um, I don't really see how else we're going to figure out what the pen's about, honestly, but it's worth giving it a go, right? Where is he? He's still here, our good old friend. Mr. Alfonso, can you spare a moment? If you make it quick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no. Doesn't know anything about the pen. Unless we show him in the pen like this. That's not the right approach. No, okay. He doesn't know about the pen. Let's head into here. Our friend is still here, so maybe we can talk to him about the pen? Using that won't work. Okay, well, we'll Hello talk again. to him. Um, can you spare a moment? No, okay. He cannot. <laughs> So that's not the right approach. Um, I mean, there's not really much else we can can do here, I don't think. I doubt we'll be able to leave just yet. So maybe there's something in that cleaning room. And that, that might be able to help us out. Let's head up and round. Come on, George, you can do it. You can run. Maybe we can head upstairs now, I don't know. See if they've finished their bug cleaning. Oh no, it doesn't look like it, does it? 
The guy did run into here though, didn't oh. Elvis is still here. You okay? You've been funny? Not into rain, huh? Let's check it shrinks. I'll never get out of it. I'd like to see that. Beat it, mister. This ain't no freak show. Alright, well, uh, do you know anything about this pen? That's not quite right. No, okay, that's not quite right. Fine. Um Nothing that way. That one's on do not dis is there anything in here? I don't I don't know if we can find the, the cleaning code here. Doesn't look like it. Let's see if there's any dialogue options with our friend Anna Maria in here. Anna Maria? Yes, George. Uh, okay, yeah, we can talk about the manuscript and the man. The guy who was guarding your room, I gave him a good soaking. How do you mean? Well, I had to get him out of the way, so I set the sprinklers off. And that worked? He loved his appearance. I couldn't resist. He was a throwback from an Elvis lookalike contest. Not very inconspicuous, then. Hmm, okay. You're sure the manuscript's gone? I mean, it's not under all this paper. No, it's much larger and written on old parchment. Well, I'll get it back for you, no matter what, Anna Maria. Hmm. Okay. So that hasn't turned anything up. I mean, I don't know... Can we... The number of combinations must be immense. There's no point in guessing. How can I get the code for the door? I don't know. I, I, I literally don't know, George. The number of combinations must be immense. There's no point in guessing. How can I get the code for the door? This is really the only thing that I can think to do. Simple numeric keypad by the cleaner's closet. Okay, is that is that the best clue we're going to get? <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> um, not very helpful, George. I gotta say, mate. You, you got anything else to say for Hello. yourself? You again? What do you want? I don't. I don't really I'm just know. Checking you haven't caught your death at cold. It's not my death. You should be worrying about. Ah, well, I'll just be on my way then. You do that. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, I mean, we can't go in any of these other rooms, can we? we can't like knock on the door. Door's locked. Room twenty-two. Slime is dripping down the door. Ugh. Point. Yuck. Slime. Nasty. Okay, which is this one? Room twenty-one. This hotel stinks. <laughs> these rooms should be charged by the hour. Second thoughts, maybe they are. <laughs> Can we take this at all? No, doesn't doesn't look like he's even going to react. Uh, okay, fine. Can we tamper with this in any way? <laughs> I am not going to do that. All right, George. All right. I mean, maybe we can just like bust the lock. No way am I doing that. No. Okay. No way am I doing that. What was... There was like a weird sound. It's the door to the cleaner's closet. From the state of this place, I'd reckon the cleaner committed suicide long ago. <laughs> There's a knocking coming from behind the door. Oh! A knocking from behind the door? Are you deaf, boy? At least I'm not in costume. Are you mocking me? Wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> the the sound thing with the music there is a little bit odd, I'll be honest. So there's there's a knocking coming from behind the door. Hey! I know, I know, keep away from the door. You're learning fast, boy. Hmm, okay. So is there somebody in there? Is is that what's going on? Can we like just smash the door down? I mean could we we could maybe hit Elvis. That's with not quite right. Ah, it's not quite right. So maybe we have got to use an item on the door. Maybe this pen will help him out. Oh, okay. There we go. We've pen got pen is great, but they're going to need paper as well. Paper. Oh, so we've got to put pen and paper in. Can we use this? Maybe who's ever in there can write out the code. Ah. Oh, shuffling noises. And there's Just... the pen and the flyer. So it's got to be the cleaner in there. There's a number scribbled on the flyer. 5837X. 
Okay, 5837X, and we got our pen back. The number scribbled on the flyer is my best bet. Here goes nothing. Okay. My God, are you okay? I am now. Thank you. Um... Hey, call me George. What happened? One minute. I'm looking for some cleaner. Next thing I know, I'm being bundled in here and it all goes dark. Did you get a good look at the guy who did it? It sounds crazy, but he looked just like Elvis. Oh, he's outside. Go on. Go on. He also had a tattoo. A tattoo of a snake wrapped around an immense... Don't mind me. That's him. You won't get away this time, punk. Oh, Elvis is in trouble. Okay, Anna Maria. The goons are gone, but the cops will be here soon. Ah. We better get out of here. We were trying to get rid of him, I see. To see a friend about your manuscript. Is the friend going to be Lobino? Please don't be Lobino. We've had enough of Lobino. Maybe it's this guy. Hey, glad you could stop by, George. If you see anything that hasn't been smashed, help yourself. Oh, they came here. Finish the place off, huh? Better still torch it. Raise it to the ground. Oh, oh yeah, that was at the start, wasn't it? That. That's why I went into business with you, partner. That amazing detective brain. <laughs> we got insurance, don't we? You let it lapse, remember? Ah. Uh, so, uh, what's with the gizmo? This, this is my MP3 player, man. Oh. What's left of it. The greatest soul and R&B collection ever smashed, destroyed by your MP3 player. I remember those days. The sounds of Maggie J. Blind, huh? How am I gonna sleep without the greatest hits of Barry Brown, the hippo of love? How am I gonna sing in my shower without my dose of Malteser? These are rhetorical questions, I guess, right, Virgil? <laughs> They're burning and forthright questions, man. I can buy you another. No. You can. Last shipment came into the city, somebody stole them all. Could be months before the next one. I could have been killed, and all Virgil does is whine about his player. <laughs> I have a manuscript to get back. Well, alright. We're back here, and we need to figure out about this manuscript. Um, but this place has been ransacked as well, which it was, at the, it was at the start of the game, wasn't it, when the goons came after us. So, um, we managed to get out of the hotel. I'm quite enjoying the story now, actually, now that I'm settled into the game. So, fingers crossed, it keeps going this way. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge Hobo, and Numinous for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.